Hey guys and welcome. In this project we are going to build a simple model with circle animation on open and close. This will be done using SolidJS and Tailwind CSS. The component interface is as follows. It will have a button text prop, which is a string representing the text that the button to open the model will have. And it can receive JSX elements as children, which corresponds to the content we want to render inside the model. Let's go ahead and create a new SolidJS project by opening up a new terminal and typing the correspondent command for it with the project name of your choosing. We'll just call it animated model. Open code on the newly created folder by typing code in the name of the project. And now open a new terminal. Next, install Tailwind by running yarn add minus d tailwind css post css auto prefixer. Once the installation is done, initialize the project by running npx tailwind css init minus p. Now go to tailwind.config.js file and copy the following string inside the content array. Finally, open the index.css file inside the source folder and at the top, copy the following directives. Go ahead and also make the height and the width of the body equal to the size of the screen. You can also clean the code if you want by deleting the app.css file. And inside the app.tsx file, delete every tag and leave only a div and the header tag with the following classes. This will render a div that fills the screen and centers the text on it. To run it, go to the terminal and type yarn dev to start the development server. Open the URL on your preferred browser and if everything went okay, then you should see the text in the middle of the screen. Let's go ahead and copy the component we've discussed at the beginning of the video to the app.tsx file. To create the component, start by creating a new file and let's call it model.tsx. The first thing we need to do is define the interface of the component. Let's call the interface model props and it will contain two properties. The button text property, which is a string, and the children, which will be either a JSX element or an array of it. Now define the component itself with the proper typings and leave it as an empty div for now. Finally, export it. Also, don't forget to import your component in the app.txx file. Now that we have the skeleton for our component, let's begin with building the button that opens and closes the model. The button will have three attributes. The onClick handler, which will call a function we are going to define later, that takes care of the logic responsible for opening the modal. The class with the tailwind styling for the button, notice how it has a conditional class based on a signal with the name is open. And then we have the ref attribute. This will be used later to do some calculations based on the button position relative to the screen. We can also add the button text that we get from the props as a text inside the button. Now create two event handlers, the open and close handler responsible for the logic of the opening and closing of the model. For now, just add the set is open to true and false respectively. At the top, define the button ref variable and set it to undefined. SolidJS will take care of populating that variable with the element reference by the time the component is mounted. Finally, create a signal for the is open state of the model. Going to the browser, we can see that we already have a button, and if we click on it, it in fact changes the signal state to true, as we can see by the style change on the button. For the model itself, we are going to need two main components, a parent div that fills the screen at the time of opening, and the div for the model itself with an animation on the y-axis seconds later to the opening state being set to true. We can also already render the children coming from the parent props. As we can see, it already opens a div with an animation coming from the bottom and with the children prop rendered inside the model. We are just missing the close icon on the top of the container. To do that, we can go to soliditicons.vercel.app and search for a close icon. Choose the icon you want to use and click on the SVG button to copy the raw SVG to your clipboard. And now paste it in your code inside the model div. Now go ahead and wrap the SVG in a div that pushes the icon to the right. 
style it however you prefer and add the on close handler. We now have a modal that appears when we click on the open button and closes when we click on the close icon. The last thing we need is to create the circle animation on open and close. For the circle, we are going to create a div in the shape of a circle with tailwind. There are two things we need to change in order to create the effect, the size of the circle by changing the width and the height and the position of the circle on the screen. For that, we will need two pieces of information, the position of the button, so the circle can begin its animation from the button, and the maximum size to which the circle can grow. To sort this information, let's create two signals at the top. The circle max size, which will be a number, and position button, which will be an object of X and Y coordinates of the button's center position relative to the screen. We can now go ahead and change the style of the circle accordingly. When it closes, it will have zero height and width, and the top and left will be the same as the position of the button. When it opens, the circle will have the max size for the height and the width, and to center it relative to the button, the top and left will have the position of the button minus half the max size of the circle. Now, to update these signal values, we are going to calculate them whenever the user clicks on the button. So let's go ahead and change the open handler. The first thing we need is the bounding rectangle of our button element. We can get this through the button reference. Now to get the X and Y center, we just need to calculate the button position relative to the left and the top of the screen respectively, and add half the size of it. To get the max size of the circle, just get whatever is bigger, the width or the height of the screen, and multiply it by at least three, so we are sure there is no blank space when the circle grows and is in one of the corners of the screen. Finally, just set the signal values accordingly. You now have a working model with an animation made with SolidJS. It still has a few problems, like for example, the circle doesn't open from the button position on the first click, only the ones after. Also, if you scroll the page, the button gets a new position and the first click on it will start the animation from the old position. The other problem is that you can scroll the content behind the model and that will mess up with the correct closing animation position. I'll leave it to you guys as an exercise to fix these issues. However, if you really just want to know the answers for the fixes, you can download the code for the project with the fixes already made on my website, as well as find any other content you might find useful. If you value this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe, as it helps me grow my channel. And if you have any questions or feedback, leave a comment down below. See you next time.